Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Um, we had a request in the from our last video in the comments about uh, taking apart these guys uh, to customize them. So we're going to go through that uh, real quick here. Not going to be a long video. Um, Spin Master. Spin Master is pretty easy. Uh, body. Uh, to take the body off there is a screw which I don't know if you guys will ever be able to see this. But there's a small screw right there, right here. Those hold Spin Master bodies on it. They are a Phillips head, uh, so this is what we use, just a Phillips head screwdriver. These, this came with an actual model kit uh, to get those off. Uh, that will take your Spin Master stuff off. Hot Wheels, a little different. Hot Wheels has a much larger screw in there. Well, not much larger, but the big difference is it's got this security type head on it. It's a triangle inside here. I know you guys can't see it, but it, there's a triangle in here. Now, I know somewhere, somehow, somebody has a tool that fits this, a screwdriver type thing that fits this. I cannot find it. I have gone everywhere. I've talked to my guy from Kimball Midwest. Uh, I've gone to Lowe's, I've gone to Home Depot, North uh, Northwest, uh, Northern Tool, um, Harbor Freight. I even asked my Snap-on guy uh, about it, and he looked at me like I had three heads. But what we do for these is I found a flat-bladed uh, screwdriver bit, like for eyeglasses or something like that. I've got it on a pair of vice grips, and this is good enough to get in here down through the hole in the bottom of the chassis and be able to turn it and take the bodies off of a Hot Wheels. Now, having said that, this guy right here, this Hot Wheels, uh, there's a ribbon inside here. Uh, and what you have to do then is you just get a drill. Uh, I can't remember this drill bit size. I believe I use this guy right here, uh, 5 sixteenths and you get down in there and drill the bottom of the rivet off and pop your body off and you're done but so once you once you've taken the body off get the screw out or get the rivet out body comes off and then you're left with this deal right here these these guys are easy next thing you need to do hot wheels is a little tougher but pop the chassis off uh do whatever you're going to do your detail work uh and there you go uh, Spin Master, same thing. Take the screw out. Casting body comes off. Their chassis, uh, again, pops right off. You're ready to start customizing. Now, wheels and tires. To get these guys off, a lot of times you can grab these deals like this, hold one stationary, twist the other one, and pull as hard as you can out. And a lot of times they will come off most of the time they won't so uh, a lot of other customizers on here you can watch their videos and I hope you do but they have fabricated pieces that go inside here and they've attached them to a, a bench top vise and it pulls these things apart I don't have that luxury uh, my vices are way too big I went to Harbor Freight and got this guy. This guy is made for pulling uh, plastic uh, rivets, for lack of a better term, out of car panels. And this works pretty good. Caveat to that is I did have to modify this. The problem is right in here I had to add metal to this thing to close up this gap because it was wide and I closed it up to match the one on top the reason why I had to do that is what we do is we take this deal that big side to toward the tire and we put this in here and then we press them apart and pop right off the problem and why I had to modify it was when this opening was wider and we put it in here what was happening was I was only getting pressure on one side of this tire and when the, sometimes when they popped off, popped off, the inside of the wheel would break. So I fabricated me a piece, welded it in there, and I've had no problems since. This actually works pretty good, works great. It's cheap. Uh, like I said, Harbor Freight, just get it in there 
and put pressure on it and then they'll pop them right off then you've got those guys off and I don't have any laying here that are off but you get them off and then you're left with this uh, this is the wheel we have off you're left with this and then you can do your paint work um, your detail work to your tire paint them a totally different color whatever you want but you say well wait you've got the tire off okay tires once you're down to this step and you've got everything removed from this chassis what you need to do is well what we do and you can figure it out for yourself uh, however you works best for you this is just what we do i have a hair dryer uh, i set these things on a, a deep well socket that fits on the back uh, i heat the tire with the hair dryer not for very long i usually just squeeze the tire while it's sitting there i'll squeeze it and you can feel it get soft and then you just push the tire right off reverse the process when you're going after you've painted and go right back heat the tire back up you can press it right back on uh, this tire i'm actually doing some experiments with um these earplugs silicone earplugs um stuffed it all down in there and then hit it with um, a spray paint to and of course I got the bead block but I'm gonna keep on working on this until I got it right cuz I hate doing the wheels I do everything all my detail work you might see I use testers um, I do everything with brush everything is done by me with a brush my son uses paint pens that's what he likes that's what he's better he prefers to use he uses paint mitt but i use brush and i'm going to keep on working on this until i get you know the perfect amount of silicone pressed down in there and i can get this looking the way i want to i'm not too unhappy with this as it is but i absolutely do not like doing wheels at all um if you see our customs if you've seen them uh, this is about the most I get into something on the inside uh, I have done more uh, the bead locks fairly easy especially when you got the wheel off but um, there you go uh, you can get everything customized the way you want you can put everything back together uh, you can do a lot with these things um, getting them customized uh, the chassis are way customizable um, I've done a lot of paint work in here, uh, painted the jesse, used different colors. Um, a lot of times, I don't do it a lot, but uh, this is a front engine spin master. I don't do this a lot, but a lot of times I will go in here and I will cut away. I don't know how well you can see this, but I go in and cut away from the chassis. You can see that one and see this one where I've done cutaways. Maybe you can see it a little better. I'll put something behind it. But I've done cutaways. You can do your detail work down here. Um, I don't do this a whole lot. Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't experienced any breakage when we race these trucks. But I just like the look. Uh, and do all your detail work. And then just reverse this process. Put everything back together. And there you go. You'll have your custom ready to roll ready to show off and that's it guys it's not that hard i encourage you to do it um if you're worried about messing something up don't buy one you like um buy something you don't like don't really care if you mess it up tear it apart uh do your deal and uh happy customizing to everybody happy tuesday and we'll talk at you later